All right, my friends, this is David, and I am very pleased to provide you with this information and this new video on Taiga. What is Taiga? Taiga is an agile project management tool in which you just log in, you create an account the same way you will do on any social media or email or whatever. I'm just going to log in and give you a brief overview of what this is for. So in Taiga, what you do is you organize your projects, you prioritize your tasks, you actually break projects into tasks and generate a backlog. This backlog becomes essentially your to-do list. And then you are going to tackle each one of the subtasks and organize them visually. So how do you do it? You have the interface and you start creating projects by clicking in create new project. I'm not going to click on this button since I already have few things going on, few projects. But if I, let's say, show you any of these projects, uh, let's go for, let's go for this one, climbing workouts project. So this is a larger, larger project, which is all about making ebooks and uh, designing covers for the ebooks creating manuscripts marketing uh, you name it a bunch of tasks under the same project umbrella so what you do is you have a kanban board the kanban board is inspired in a japanese project management system in which you have index cards with simple tasks you have those tasks categorized in new, ready to go, in progress, ready for test, and done. So let's say you want to create a new task, simply go here. Let's say you want to make a, a correction in one of the pages of your book. So let's say correct. <coughs> Sorry about that. Correct. Uh, you want to correct the table of contents, okay? Uh, correct uh, error in table of contents, okay? And then you can write some description. So, for example, there uh, there is a series of mistakes on the the content table. Whatever, you can go as in detail as you want. You can actually attach images or whatever. But once you're happy, you just create the task and it's going to be uh, generated up here at the bottom of, of the backlog. So if you think this is a priority, you simply have to drag it up here. You look at the board and when you start working on it, you move into in progress. You can have it in the ready column if you are working on it you simply move it to the um, uh, in progress so let's say ready after it's ready goes to in progress after it's in progress you move it here and when it's done it's done if you want to archive it simply archive it that's essentially my friends the workflow in Taiga using this Kanban board and creating projects that can be broken down into subtasks. As you can tell, I have multiple boards. Each one has its own Kanban board. Each one is telling me what's going on in the project. This is extremely helpful since this is going to let you see the bigger picture of your collection of projects. This is it. This is the introduction to Taiga. It is a great tool. I do recommend it to use it if you are in design projects, in web projects, marketing projects, copywriting projects, any type of creative or technical task um, is something that you can you can use and you can take advantage of, of this uh, great tool.
I hope you have learned something. I hope you actually try it out and, and use it and, and leave your comments as you come out with your projects and your tasks. Thank you very much and stay tuned for more interesting videos.